So let's take a look in this lesson to graph uh, exponential growth functions. So if you've seen this lesson or if you've been in this lesson in class, you've probably seen this formula. y is equal to a times b to the power of x. Well, uh, with exponential growth functions, when you just see something this easy where it's y is equal to something to the power of x, uh, the thing I like to do is just tell my students to use a t-chart. That's just one of the best things to do with this. So what I'll do is I'll pick two points. I'll do 0 and I'll do 1. So when we do, uh, let's use a different color, when we do y is equal to 2 to the power of 0, we know that y will equal 1. So when x is equal to 0, y equals 1 because I plugged 0 in for x. So that's one of my points. Um, and then what I'll do is let's go ahead and do y is equal to 2 and then instead of plugging in 0 for x I'm gonna plug in 1 right here for x so 2 to the power of 1 uh, y would equal 2 great so I know that my two points now are 0 and 1 and 1 and 2 so uh, a lot of teachers uh, to be honest with you just like dealing with two points um, so let's go ahead and look at this. So I'm going to draw a, a little graph here, okay? So we have our x and y coordinates, and let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I always suggest you guys to use a ruler. Um, it, it, it definitely helps. But, okay, let's go ahead and make that. Okay, so now uh, uh, the first one, we're going to go ahead and plot the point 0, 1. So 0, 1 would be right here. Let me use a different color so we can see everything. Um, okay, so there's 0, 1. And then the next point would be 1, 2, right here. So we can tell this is an exponential growth function. And the great thing about this is we have this thing called an asymptote. Um, and the asymptote basically is saying that when the graph, it's always going to get close to something but never actually reach it. In this case, it's 0. And uh, you can go ahead and click the link. Uh, that we have below uh, to show you exactly what that means a little bit further if you have any questions on that. But as you can see this graph will always get close to zero but it will never touch it and then it'll continue to rise up. Great. And then a lot of times they might ask you what domain and range are. So if you have questions on what domain and range are go ahead and click this uh, link now and that will go ahead and answer some of those questions that you have uh, regarding domain and range. But uh, the domain here is basically, domain is going to be for your x values. So uh, if we look here, we can see that it's continuously growing and as it grows it will get wider and wider and wider across the x values. Uh, so what we like to use is this thing we call it super r, meaning all real numbers. So uh, let's write all reals too. So all real numbers. So uh, it's basically saying that all our x values can be an answer because if this continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, it's going to get wider and wider going this way. So it can be all numbers for the x values and going to the right and going to the left. Uh, and then when we look at our range, our range is going to be different because remember we talked about this thing called an asymptote. Uh, well, it's a line right here at y equals 0, and I know it's kind of hard to see because we're going over the yellow, uh, but it's this imaginary line that's basically telling us the graph can never touch that. Um, it can never touch or cross it. So that's basically saying that this graph for our range will always be, um, y will always have to be greater than 0 because it'll never go below that. Uh, so that would be our domain and range. And like I said, if you have questions regarding domain and range, please click the link and I'll provide it again right now for you. Uh, and, and that will go ahead and answer some questions you have regarding domain and range uh, with that.